Okay, today we're in the cab of the Mercedes Actros. This one is equipped with a mirror cam system, so I'm going to show you how the system works, how to set it up properly, and the buttons that control it. The mirror cam system uses two cameras mounted on the outside of the vehicle to project the image they see onto this display on the pillar. As you can see, it's split into two sections, the standard display at the top, and the wide angle display at the bottom. There are various distance lines on the display, as you can see here and here. The yellow ones at the top are fixed lines, and the blue line is an adjustable line. We can calibrate that to the rear of the trailer so that we know where the back of our trailer and unit combination is when we're looking in the display, which is useful for reversing. As you can see here, the line is not only flashing, but it's far too close to the wheels of the unit here and nowhere near the back of the trailer, which means it hasn't been calibrated properly. But the first thing we're going to do is calibrate this blue line. In order to calibrate the line, we're going to need a reference point at the back of the trailer. So I'm going to go and grab a traffic cone and place it at the rear of the trailer on the ground. Okay, as you can see on the display, we've got our traffic cone positioned at the back of the trailer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the up and down arrow on the keypad on the door to move the blue line so it's level with the traffic cone. I'm going to press up until the blue line moves all the way to the traffic cone. And our traffic cone is positioned level with the back of the trailer. So I'm going to position my blue line right on the base of that traffic cone there. I'm going to use the left or the right arrow to confirm that selection and the blue line has now stopped flashing and zooming into the display a little bit more now you can see the blue line located on the left hand side of the display now level with the base of the traffic cone which denotes where the back of the trailer is should you wish to adjust the blue line again for example if you changed to a trailer of a different length all you have to do is cycle the ignition of the truck off and on again and you'll see the blue line then starts flashing and you can use the arrow buttons as before to adjust the blue line again. Just like standard mirrors, this section of the display at the top is adjustable for field of view. So if we use the selection button at the top of the door control panel to select either the offside or the near side mirror, and then we can use that up and down, left and right button on the keypad to adjust the field of view like so. You will notice at the top of the display now we have a red symbol which denotes that the mirror is no longer pointing in the correct direction for normal driving. So if we move back to the original position you'll see that it turns green. And that's the normal position for driving and we can also see that our distance lines at the side have reappeared. Another useful feature of the mirror cam system is the auto panning function. As you can see here, we're reversing around a corner into this parking space, as you can see in the smaller wide angle display. But in the standard larger section of the display, the trailer is actually now turned so much that it's approaching the edge of the display, so we can't really see very well where the trailer's pointing. If you switch on the auto panning function, you'll see now that the camera, as you turn around this corner with the trailer in reverse, the camera will then pan outwards and zoom out so that you can see much better where the trailer is aiming at the back here. Like normal mirrors, the mirror cam pods on the outside of the vehicle are also heated. The heating function can be switched on by pressing this button here on the driver's side door panel. After a few minutes, the cameras will switch themselves off when the vehicle ignition has been turned off. But if you want to reactivate the cameras in order to, for example, check on the status of your loading bay light, you press this button here on the driver's door or passenger door and that will switch both of the cameras back on.